coming to the stage. You've seen him on Blue Bloods, and very exciting, he is in the new Men in Black that came out today. Be sure to check it out. Please give it up for the very funny Adrian Alvarado. How's everybody doing? Yeah. All right, happy to be here. Glad everybody's having a good time, right? Yeah. Having some drinks? What are we drinking? A little dark and stormy. All right, a little, a little French martini. I'm a little IPA guy myself, you know. They're, they're getting a little kooky with their names, right? The high alcohol content. I, you know, I always check with the bartender because I'm a masochist. She's like, she's like, what IPAs you got on top? She's like, we got the uh, Long Island Triple uh, DUI. <laughs> and then uh, we got the Citrus Brooklyn Back Alley Beatdown. <laughs> And if you want a treat, we got the limited Imperial from the Bronx. Weekend in jail, I feel. <laughs> to quick tumble. Ooh, I'll have that one. <laughs> Need a little excitement in my life, you know? As a Puerto Rican male in my family, and being married as long as I have is a major accomplishment, okay? My parents got divorced when I was young. Second trimester. <laughs> That's why I got daddy issues. <laughs> My wife and I have uh, different ways of communicating with our kids, you know? She likes to, she wants to talk things out, you know? And I want to punch. <laughs> Stop that, son. I find, I find marriage and like raising kids is like playing Jeopardy, right? Alex, I'll take I'm never gonna win. <laughs> An argument ever again for 10,000. <laughs> My daughter comes up to me the other day, she's like, Daddy, I'm officially tweening. I go, that's great. Tween all you want. Do not twerk. Don't twerk. Not in my house. My daughter's a very hyperactive young lady, you know? I can't wait till I can get her into weed. I don't know, it's the right age to teach your kids how to self-medicate. Whose job is it? Huh? So, sixth grader vaping in the bathroom? <laughs> no. I'm trying to be a responsible father here. And introduce it to some good organic indica. <laughs> or sativa. You know? Gotta figure out the right strain. It's gonna balance her out. She might be a hybrid type. I don't know. We'll figure it out together. Yeah. But I've been teaching my kids that they're gonna go to a new school next year. Uh, called JFK, and they came home freaking out. Daddy, daddy, the other kids at school say that JFK stands for jail for kids. <laughs> I'm like, no, you know it stands for John F. Kennedy. And if it was a jail for kids, you'd all get free lunch. <laughs> and books. <laughs> and education. <laughs> Ugh. I'm trying to teach them about rejection, right? Lucky for them, I know a lot about it. Because I'm married. <laughs> My wife rejects me at least six times a day. She's like the Don Corleone of rejection. I'm gonna have to uh, say no to you tonight. <laughs> you gotta have it. I also learned a lot about rejection from the master of rejection, my father. I got a wacky Puerto Rican puppy, okay? He got eight kids. And I remember when I met my dad, I was 10. <laughs> kind of a little later than normal, I know. My, wife, my mom took me to his office, it was this bar in New Jersey. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, all right? My dad wasn't a big drinker, all right? He was a professional gambler, a professional sperm injector. <laughs> You know, he actually named one of my sisters after a racehorse. I know, classic. And I always try to picture him at the track, you know, with the ticket, like, how did this thing happen? Walking in, okay, cabrones, I need some fresh money. What do we got here? Little Lolita. Oh, I like that name, Machaca. Lolita, 40 to 1. Okay, let's do it. And they're off. Coming around the bend is Texas Sparkle. And little Lolita on her tail. And down the stretch they come as Texas Sparkle. And oh, Texas Sparkle by a nose. That's how I ended up with my sister, Texas Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> she 
She was a long shot. Uh, doing my best to uh, keep up with the world, you know, I'm Generation X. And we've got all these movements, like the hashtag Me Too movement, which I support 100%. But it throws me off. Every time I read it, it says, Pound Me Too. <laughs> a little counterintuitive. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep up with the trends, so I shop online, right? And I saw this robot, right? That cleans your floors and mops it, right? Roomba. Yeah, they call it a, a Roomba! Yeah, a Roomba, how convenient, right? Yeah, just add a little stick and span, and you Latino, you're cleaning where he's away. Right? <laughs> that's it, that's it. Well, what's next, huh? The I Pedro lawnmower? <laughs> Just set it and forget it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he brings his whole family. <laughs> the lawn will be done in 15 minutes. <laughs> you order one now, his cousins will come and trim your roses. <laughs> Thank you very much. I made it off right. <laughs>